Just who is Sophia? And why is your organisation implementing her? Well, to start with, Sophia is a framework, not a person. It stands for Skills Framework for the Information Age and is a collection of all the generic IT business skills used by IT professionals. These are skills that are observed in the workplace and represent the current skills required by IT professionals to perform their work, whether you are new to the IT industry or a world IT leader. Sophia is simply a framework. It is not a prescription for how the company should be organised or the mandatory skills that a person should have. Rather, it's a diagnosis tool used to identify the skills required by an organisation and the skills that are provided by staff. Sophia comes from the UK, but don't hold that against her. It is truly an international framework and is recognised across many countries as a best practice framework for assessing IT skills. Usage is quickly growing in Australia, with many organisations relying on Sophia's skills to hire, retain and develop their staff. Our friend Sophia's main role is to help organisations by defining IT business skills at a high level. It is not a comprehensive list of all the things that a skilled individual might be able to do. As I'm sure you're well aware, the IT industry is complex, so Sophia doesn't aim to capture all the details, but creates a high-level picture to help managers make decisions about finding, using and developing required IT business skills. Sophia's skills describe the IT business skills required to perform a task at a given level of responsibility. They do not describe the technologies, products or processes. The generic levels of responsibility provide a background against which specific professional skills can be measured. Sophia is pretty smart. A combination of professional skills, behavioural skills, knowledge, experience and qualifications are considered as part of the framework. Professional skills are the skills required to perform tasks such as process design and business analysis. Behavioural skills are defined by the values and culture of an organisation and are essential for good performance. They focus on how the job is done and its effect on other members of the organisation. Knowledge is the technical basis of a skill and it includes technology, products, processes, methods and aspects of governance. In order to assess capability, we need to have some way of validating. Sophia uses both experience and qualifications. Qualifications certify that you have acquired the required knowledge and experience provides the practical demonstration of capability. Sophia has six skill families. They include strategy and architecture, business change, solution development and implementation, service management, procurement and management support, and client interface. Within these six families, there are 96 individual skills divided further across seven levels of responsibility. Each skill typically has three to four levels of responsibility. That's one big family tree. At responsibility levels 1, 2 and 3, people perform tasks under increased supervision with well-defined processes and outcomes. Levels 4 and 5 are characterised by providing advice and enabling others to perform the work. At Sophia responsibility levels 6 and 7, the most senior levels, a person typically sets strategies, inspires and mobilises others. So, we've discovered that Sophia has a big family. There are many skills and many levels of responsibility. But Sophia goes one step further and provides guidance on managing IT skills in an organisation. Let's consider a cycle where step one involves hiring of people and assigning people to roles and jobs. The next step involves assessing organisational needs and defining the skills of personnel. We then move on to analysing performance, identifying gaps and looking for opportunities to improve. The final two steps look at developing skills whilst keeping the objectives of the organisation in mind as well as the development needs of the individual. Only then can processes be put into place to reward and recognise development. This whole cycle forms an overall resource management system for your organisation. Sophia forms the core of the system and is used to measure current capabilities whilst also planning for future demand. Let's take a moment to consider why your organisation is implementing Sophia. 
Most companies look at implementing Sophia to reduce the costs of hiring new IT resources. By introducing Sophia, your organisation can ensure that it pays fair market price for skills it needs to be efficient and effective. Here's our first scenario. It's time to hire new people. Sophia helps out by setting appropriate criteria to make sure the right candidates are attracted and selected. This becomes even more important in an outsourcing or offshoring environment, as Sophia provides both the client and the supplier with a clear and transparent basis for describing what is required. Here's another common scenario. How often is a new person hired that may have the right skill, but not necessarily at the right level? Often others have to fill this gap until that person is trained or becomes more proficient. There's a hidden cost to this, but it's also an operational risk, a risk that can be managed if Sophia is used from the outset to identify skills and skill levels. It's also important to your organisation that they manage and retain their existing talent, you. The organisation can identify the available skills for each person and deploy them to meaningful tasks. A registry of skills enables the organisation to look internally for the right people, rather than sourcing externally. You may have skills the organisation doesn't know you have. Lower project risk is achieved by ensuring that personnel with the right skills are appointed to project roles, ensuring that tasks will be completed efficiently and professionally. Let's also consider the task of assessing staff performance. Sophia helps by both considering IT business objectives and then using Sophia's skills, an individual has to assess their development objectives. Staff performance then becomes more objective and focuses on skill strengths and development needs. In essence, Sophia helps organisations create effective organisation structures. It helps to consider what is needed to meet the objectives of the business and then provide the right skilled personnel to fulfil these better defined roles. Sophia can also be used to work more effectively with partner organisations, ensuring that the right jobs are created to manage the overall enterprise, and that the right skills exist to support the needs of the organisation. We've already mentioned that your organisation agrees that it's important for their staff to continue developing. That's why they're implementing Sophia. Having well-defined and current skills maximises the opportunity for you to be employed at full capacity and at the optimal level of remuneration. Having a Sophia profile also helps identify and address any skill gaps that may exist within the organisation. The field of IT changes rapidly with new technologies appearing almost daily. So it's very important for IT professionals such as yourself to stay on top of your profession and be able to determine what training and development you need to maintain full potential. Sophia can help by providing an objective analysis of capabilities and defining a career development plan. Having the right remuneration is important and using Sophia to map personal skills is an effective way to ensure this. But there are also other important elements of job satisfaction that Sophia also addresses. What else motivates you? How about having autonomy to perform a task? Sophia ensures that position descriptions are designed with a blend of roles that maximises your ability to make your own decisions and influence the way a job is done. What about being proficient and having mastery of what you do? Sophia helps to focus on the essential skill for a chosen profession. In this way, you can attain a high degree of proficiency in what you do and maintain that high level of mastery with ongoing training and development. Lastly, does having a well-defined purpose motivate you? Sophia ensures that each position in the organisation is designed to make a positive contribution. Every position is important, and by using Sophia roles and structures, it is possible to maximise the contribution of each position. Are you feeling motivated now? Sophia creates an environment where performance assessments are meaningful and contribute positively to your personal development and career goals. It forms the basis of an objective framework where performance is measured in terms of the skills that you are able to deploy to perform your job. 
Sophia development plans are based on the development of specific skills that are required by the roles that make a position description. Sophia is being implemented in your organisation as a way to ensure that they retain, grow and develop their best IT talent. Having the right numbers of staff with the appropriate skills in the right roles can only ensure better levels of success in meeting business objectives. The implementation of Sophia is a participative effort, with everybody in the organisation having a role to play. We hope that you now have a taste of the benefits Sophia can offer both you and your organisation.